Hi everyone. Well, I've had a few uh, people asking about the wider area of Los Alcatraz, so I thought maybe I'll add a couple of wee extra videos of just the, the area in general and places other than the, the Strip. Because uh, it is a, you know, it's a working town, it's a decent sized town and there are uh, many different places to go out of, of an evening or to go for some food. So we're going to do a wee uh, drive through video, uh, point out the sort of main areas and then I'll, I'll maybe pick up uh, other videos of each of those individual areas separately rather than try and squeeze them all into one. So uh, this will be the first of those. Uh, we're going to take a drive through Los Alcatraz uh, and point out the sort of main uh, things as we go through. So I hope you enjoy the video. So um, <clears throat> here we are on a quite a dull grey day today, although it's still 20 degrees. Uh, just arriving down into Los Alcatraz. Uh, we're coming south uh, from the Torre Vieja area, so this is at the top end. Now on the left, there's a, a centre and there's some big arches here. They won't really see them that well in the video. But this used to be the main sort of commercial centre, if you like, uh, where the main sort of bars and restaurants were a few years ago. A uh, couple of nice restaurants in there, but again, I'll show you that uh, on a different video in a bit more detail. Uh, just going to do a drive through Los Alcatraz today. So, just coming along uh, the main road, uh, not entirely sure of the name of the, the road, although I've lived here a year and a half, so you think I would. So, <clears throat> I think it's the uh, Avenida de Cartagena. I think that's the name of it. So, bars and restaurants uh, on the right uh, and on the left coming down. Uh, fantastic little uh, Nepalese restaurant in there on the right, the Gurkha Darbar. People who have been in Los Alcatraz will know all about that. But just coming down, big new Mormon church, Church of Jesus Christ and Latter-day Saints on the right. Uh, and just trying to navigate one of the many roundabouts that uh, seem to cause so much issues in Spain. So coming along here now, we've got supermarkets on both sides, all the big ones here, uh, Mercadona, Aldi on the left, and we've got Consum and Lidl on the right. So we're well stocked for supermarkets. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's not a very long town. It doesn't take that long to drive through it, but just that people may not know uh, the size of Los Alcatraz, or they might be stuck to one area. So I just thought a wee uh, information video might be, a, might be a handy thing to, to do for people. So, uh, one of the, the big planes in the centre of the roundabout, which is the ones used by the Eagle Patrol, I believe. Uh, that's the air display team here in uh, Los Alcatraz or in San Javier. So again, some nice restaurants on the right. Big steakhouse on the right. Oh, just incidentally, police station on the left there, just for people who don't know where it is, if you need to report anything. So a nice steak restaurant on the right, uh, coming down, down on my left here is the main strip area where I've done so many of the videos and you can see here there's a taxi rank just at the top on the right if you're ever out of town. That's the 525 Plaza on the left. So again just continuing along here. So there's a few of these on the right here, you've got the little uh, churro uh, stalls, there's a few of those dotted around open sort of late at night, Chinese restaurant on the right there, and then the, the old little uh, boat, Los Alcatraz, Pueblo de Pescadores, so town of the fish I think that translates to. So big big hotel here on the left which has never opened. We believe there's planning issues with uh, being so close to a petrol station, but don't know why. Another supermarket on the right. And now we're kind of leaving the, people call it the new, the newer bit, but it's, it's certainly the newest part of the town uh, and entering into the, the old town. Lovely little bodega on the right, just as I'm passing here. Uh, they do uh, all sorts of great wine by the litre. Uh, for a couple of euros and you just buy a plastic bottle uh, different sizes, half a litre, one litre, two, whatever you want uh, you can do a little bit of wine tasting in there pick the one you want and uh, fill it up uh, out of the barrels 
So that's well worth bearing in mind if you're if you're in the area and you're looking for some wine. So all the way along here you'll see various bars and restaurants. A little sports bar to my left that I've just passed, you've got the a time for a change, which is a good place if you're looking to pick up some um, pre-owned furniture. Uh, they have uh, some good uh, bargains or deals in there. Pharmacy on the left, the clinic here, the little church. So again, we'll do we'll do other videos of those. And dotted along here, there's various little Asian shops uh, that sell all the spices and uh, things that you would need if you want to cook some some Asian food. Now, just as I come down here. Uh, on the right here, just as you go over a bridge, there's a car park beneath, which is disused at the minute. On the right here is where the uh, Tuesday market is, up around the street, so on the right hand side. But again, we'll, we'll probably pop down and do a wee video of that at some point. Great wee electrical shop there, good bargains on the right. La Casa de Papel, one of the really good restaurants. And on my left here, JG's Cocktail Bar down the side street. I know I'm, I'm rattling through this fairly quickly, but I've got traffic behind me, so... Uh, we've got the little bakery there, Restaurant Ramon 2, that's really good as well. A um, few banks, and coming down into the main sort of town square, uh, sorry, the main area of the old town. So on the left here is the big uh, government building, and then down to the left behind that is the, the old town square, which... We'll probably have a wander through one night and do a wee walk round video when it's when it's a bit uh, busier. Because as you know in Spain, uh, virtually everything shuts down between sort of 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock for the, the siesta, but it all opens back up again later on. So it's always a bit weird when you're walking around here and it, it all looks really quiet. But uh, when you see it at night, it's obviously a bit busier. But bear in mind now, we're now on the, the 15th of November. Uh, so it's it's obviously a bit quieter than the, the sort of main season. But the other thing you might spot in the video, which we again will do a walk around one time, is there's lots of fantastic murals on the walls all over in Los Alcatraz. Uh, lots of, lots of artists have come from all over the world to, to paint various murals and paintings on the walls. So it makes it quite an interesting little place to wander. Now, on the left here, you've got the La Rocola, great Italian and pizza restaurant. Uh, we've eaten in there a few times. And then down the back streets to the left here at the far end of the town, near the airbase, uh, there's a couple of little old uh, Spanish restaurants. El Delfin in particular is really good. Then just on the right here is the uh, old museum, military museum, and on the left is the old military base. Now, the reality is, um, it's taken us, what, five or six minutes to drive through uh, Los Alcatraz from one end to the other. Uh, there is a bit further on here where there's lots of building work going on. But again, that might be that might be worthy of a separate little video just to show you the kind of work that's, that's going on in the area. It's certainly up and coming. And there's lots of uh, builders have moved back in and getting things going again, so that's great. So I'll just go up the road a little bit here and then I'll probably turn around uh, and head back up, but we'll we'll probably cut the video off when I get further up the road a bit here, let the traffic clear. So a nice little uh, restaurant in the right here, very Spanish, the fantastic tapas and Spanish food, and you'll see the little train there on the left, little tourist train that does the, the tours all through the summer. Now incidentally, that little tourist train also does uh, an art tour occasionally, so if you look at their uh, their website, I'll, I'll probably put a link in the comments. You'll see that every now and again they do a little uh, art tour with one of the local artists who'll uh, take you around and talk you through the various bits of artwork that's there. So, if you're looking for something culture to do one day, uh, or maybe you're looking to take the kids on a, a run around the town, it's well worth uh, it's well worth doing that just to get some so anyway, that's Los Alcatraz from end to end, just along the main road. There's lots to see, uh, certainly worthy of uh, creating their own videos, I think, rather than trying to squeeze everything into one big long video. We'll try and keep them short, try and keep them interesting, 
and uh, that way you, you might want to keep coming back for another wee look. So finally as always, uh, thanks for watching. Um, you know, please like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of the videos coming up in the future. And again, finally, if there's anything in particular that you want me to uh, do a little video on or have a look at, just put it in the comments and I'm sure I'll be able to accommodate you because I live here full time now, so it's no big deal if you want me to have a sort of look, see anything in particular or something you're not sure about. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.